What's going on my dudes, One Step here with the ultimate beginner's guide to Superman in multiverses. Giving you some tips and tricks on how to play Superman, some best strategies to keep in mind, perk recommendations, fun starting combos, and more. So without further ado, let's get into it. Subscribe here for more multiverses content and let's talk about Superman. Superman is an absolute tank and I mean that. He has armor on so many moves including his charged up attack, neutral charge attack, he can break armor with his down attack. His lasers can pop people up for combos. His aerial side special goes through anything. It feels like it's a great combo starter as well. You can charge his aerial up attack, his aerial side attack, and even charge his aerial down attack. And the reason why charging those moves matters because that allows you to time when that move is released. So you can like follow the opponent with the charge, let it go. First of all, it's charged, so it does more damage. And again, it allows you to control when the attack actually comes out. For the most part, you can't charge it forever, obviously. But it gives you more of a buffer of when to actually let go, allowing you to say, I'm going to start the attack now, but let go now. So the attack actually hits now. Even though I started right here, I let go now. Being able to charge your aerial up attack, side attack, and down attack is crazy. Your neutral air attack is actually a multi-hitting punch. So that'll also break armor more often than not. You have a multi-hitting side attack combo, which is crazy. And you could end that with an armored attack. So they try to break through it. You're like, okay, armored, psych. So many times my opponent will try to get out of that. And then I'll just do an armored move instead. I'll get hit and then I'll go right through and hit them right back. And it's charged too. Frost breath, even a couple can slow down your opponent quite a bit. Giving you that speed advantage as well as being a tank. Your down special has armor. I don't know if you can tell yet, but Superman is just insane. A quick tip for he's also one of the very few characters that can actually dodge upwardsly from the ground. And that is huge because that allows you to dodge up and then do like down attack, dodge up and do lasers instead, then up attack in the air, then grab him and throw him. So many options to do from that up dodge. A couple other side notes, you can actually freeze enemy projectiles with your frost breath like this. And then you can pick that up and then throw it right back at them. You can also freeze your opponent's fist, giving them ice gauntlets so that their next attacks do frost stacking on top of your frost breath here freezing your opponents faster. Superman is honestly just a very straightforward, honest character. A ton of armored moves like up attack, neutral attack, ground up special. You get the idea. He is the man of steel and he acts as such. He's got so much armor. He hits like a goddamn tank, of course. And his whole kit makes for some awesome and fun gameplay. Because he is pretty straightforward, let's go ahead and talk about the best killing options you have for Superman. Honestly, all of his aerial attacks are great. Side attack, up attack, down air. All of his ground attacks as well, charged, of course. Uh, you know, you get armor and they're super strong. That's the up attack. We have neutral attack. Even his aerial side special, this grab right here, that'll kill at a pretty decent percentage. Your main thing is just tanking through your opponent's hits, doing some really fun combos. And then once the moment calls for it, do an aerial and just kill him. Superman is freaking awesome. And he's got a lot of really good KO moves. And let's talk about his neutral game as well. What do you want to do in this situation right here? Where do you want to go? How do you want to play it out? Well, if you're trying to zone you out, maybe you can freeze the projectiles. Don't be afraid to use your frost breath as you approach them, making them like not really want to approach you because then they're going to get frozen. It slows them down and they really don't want that. Don't be afraid to throw out a couple hits and then just do a neutral attack for armor or an up attack on the ground for more armor. You're supposed to be a tank. You're going to tank through hits left and right. Get him in the air, then jump and do side attack and just keep doing that. You can grab him and then throw him and then do side special and catch him again. If they're trying to play keep away, go ahead and laser him back. Do micro jump aerial side special. Superman's neutral game is meant to like scare your opponent. Let them know they can zone you out. Slow them down any way you can and just be a powerhouse hitter. Pretty straightforward, really strong. You don't want to necessarily abuse the armored moves because then your opponent's going to learn that and then they're going to punish you for it, but they can come really in handy. Now let's talk about some starting combos you can use for Superman. Like I said, either side attack twice into that multi-hitting combo. From there, either holding up attack or neutral attack for the armored move like this. That way, if your opponent tries to like dodge out of that combo, they'll actually dodge into your punch and then boom, they're dead. I like the aerial side attack and then side special. If I'm in the air, I really want to do like side attack in the air, jump side special, catch them off guard. If you ever down it, you can like spike them and land, do up attack so they land into that. There's a lot of fun ways to start combos with Superman. Side attack is one of them. Up attack, get him in the air somehow. So to get him in the air like this and then go from there is like your best option. Pop him with lasers. You get the idea. Now let's talk about my favorite perks to use for Superman. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I think that both the Superman signature perks are actually really good. Like I usually switch back and forth between the both of these. Sniper punch and break the ice. Sniper punch makes it so Superman's aim punch is side special on the ground. Uh, the range on that is extended. The damage and the knockback is greater as long as you hit it from a longer range. And the damage and knockback is decreased at a shorter range. And I always want to like hit him away. And then on their way back to me, I sniper punch him. So clean. However, break the ice is also really good because it makes it so Superman deals additional damage to fighters debuff 
buffed by ice. So you just do frost breath a little bit here and there, and you're always doing additional damage. And that is really nice because it says here the additional damage actually stacks with the ice. So the more frozen they are, the more damage you're gonna do. And I love having that extra damage. Not that he needs it, but hey. Now for the other perks, like I said, Superman is a tank and he acts as such. So you're kind of just tanking through your opponent's hits. You're walking up to them, not afraid because you have the armor. Now while you're walking, I like to use this perk right here, protective momentum. Your team gains a projectile shield after running on the ground the same direction for at least 0.5 seconds. So it allows me, Superman, to walk on the ground towards my opponent, get that projectile shield, so that way I don't get hit by that, throw out an armored move, boom, I got the armor, I got the damage. Although if you want to use snowball effect here to gain even more damage, I wouldn't blame you for that either. Superman is a tank, so he's going to be above 100% quite often. So the perk last stand allows us to apply weekend as long as we're above 100 damage, which is most of the fight. There's fights where I'm above 100%, all the way to like 180 before I even die. And the whole time I'm applying weekend because of this perk. Weekend makes it so my opponent takes more damage and knockback already. So I think this is perfect for Superman. And then again, right here, Pugilist, you just get more damage on your melee attacks and Superman is all melee attacks. So more damage here, more damage if you use Break the Ice on your Frosted Enemies, more damage for Snowball Effect if you want to use that. And then you're applying Weekend as long as you're above 100%. Superman is an absolute tank. You can have an even tankier build for him with these perks. Let me know your favorites down below. Let me know your favorite perks, but also let me know what are your actual thoughts on Superman as a character in Multiverses. Do you like him? Do you hate him? Do you main him? I've been having a ton of fun with him. If this video helped you out, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe here for more content because we have new videos twice a week and we stream twice a week. Take it one step at a time and go ahead and click into these videos next for more guides, news, tutorials, and more.